I thought we could both use some change, a newer perspective to see how life looked in a different lane. But here in your arms, I can't leave now, 'cause I don't. I found the woman I'm destined to marry. God has revealed who He's planned for me. My soul is full with this woman by my side. Forevers have no ending, but there is a beginning. Today is our beginning. Today is our start of life. I never thought that I would be blessed with a man like you. You are everything I needed and more. Someone that I could laugh and cry with. Someone that I feel like I can be myself and feel comfortable. You are such a fun person to be around. I love the fact that I will never be bored when I'm with you, and you make the little things in life interesting. You always keep me on my toes. Your love for the Lord is so real and so strong. I couldn't think of a better man to lead our family. You have already shown me love, patience, and grace when I've come to you. So I no longer have any hesitations to go to you because I know we can work through it together. I can't wait to start this new life with you, and I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. The qualities in your character. Are much better and more important than the things you think you don't have that you bring to me. I love you with my whole heart, and I always will. Love you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. What an incredible day this is to celebrate with Luke and Alicia. And what an incredible day it is, not only for you two, but also for the four people that are sitting on the front row. All of you got an invitation today from Alicia's parents because this is their day for their daughter, but it's also Daniel and Kathy's day for their son. This is a day of joy. scared. What are you about to say? <laughs> oh crap. That's not the plan he thought. So he just blurted out, I love you. <laughs> and she immediately said, I love you too. And she's like, why did it take you so long? <laughs> He's like, what? She's like, remember when I told you, you don't have to be patient with me anymore? He said, yeah, that was a month ago. Well, I wasn't going to be the first one to say it. So Luke's neck turtle was Tony. 
asking if he could marry Alicia. Spill our songs by the pool, talking about what we'd be when we grow. Well, those were the days. Alicia, you were my first love. I vow that I'm going to seek God to lead you under his direction. Luke, I vow to always be there for you through any situation we come across, through the highs and lows and anything in between, because we are in this until the end. I will always give you love with grace and mercy that I've experienced from God. I will sacrifice myself for what's best for you and our family. I want to be in your life every step of the way, to celebrate with you or be there when you need encouragement. I vow to be your support system, your confidant, where everything is open and we will go to each other for everything because communication is key in having a good relationship and I want us to not hold anything back. I promise to provide for you and I will rely on God from when I'm wrong, and I will be. I'll ask for your forgiveness and admit it. I vow to always respect you with your decisions, with my attitude, with my thoughts, knowing that is what God called wives to do. And I want us to follow what God wants for us in everything we do. And Alicia, I vow this is it for me. I have no plan B, no way out. I am yours forever. There is no mistake or fault that you can do that's going to break this covenant that I'm making with you, with the people here, and with God. I vow to follow you wherever you go and let you be the leader in all aspects of this relationship. I trust you fully that you will make the right decisions for us and for our family. I love you with all my heart. I thank God for bringing us together, but I also vow to love you even when I may not feel like it. When everything moves slower.